Today, the office instructor channel and myself, Nabil Murad, are celebrating an important milestone of hitting 50,000 subscribers. And because you have been a part of this journey, I couldn't celebrate without you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. This is a very special milestone tutorial about dashboards and data visualization that comes packed with a beautiful thank you gift for each one of you. Keep watching for details. I want to start talking about the power of visualization, how it affects the subconscious and lets the information stick to your memory. You can use all the statistics and studies to convince people about the benefits of public transportation. Or you can just use this one picture. If each one of these people is driving a car, this is how our streets will look like. While all of them could fit in one single bus and our streets will look totally different. That's the power of visualization. And because our brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than text or numbers alone, it's better to share data in ways that people actually absorb and turn boring information into a visual that our brains can easily understand. Visualization also makes our data portable so you can share it with others on any device. So what is a dashboard? The Oxford Dictionary defines a dashboard as a graphical summary of the most important information used to give an overview of a business. This overview must be simple, easy to understand, and has a meaning. A dashboard is usually a one-page report condensed enough to fit in one single screen. Excel can take our dashboard a step further and make them interactive as well. Before you start creating your dashboard, you need to plan. And by planning, I need to think. Which questions need to be answered through my dashboard? What parameters do we need to track? Do we have all the data? When do I need to deliver my dashboard? Some functionalities take a longer time to create. Who is going to use it? That affects the level of simplicity and the level of acceptance. What's the output? Some interactivity doesn't work online. If you work for a company, you know that everything changes. Managers change, requirements change. Basically, change is the only constant. Can my dashboard be easily updated? A dashboard consists of three parts. The source data, the preparation worksheets, the presentation worksheet. We are in the era of big data. We might have our data in multiple Excel workbooks or even in different platforms, Access, SQL database, CSV file, QuickBooks, Google Analytics, Microsoft Azure, or on the web. So we need to get this data under one single roof. And because the data was created in different applications, I need to do some housekeeping I need to clean and transform the data to create a normalized data set called the data model. We learned how to do that in a Power Pivot and a Power Query course. Part two is the preparation sheet. This is the real kitchen where all the cooking is done. This part is key for creating a successful interactive dashboard. We create formulas and functions. We create pivot tables create charts and spark lines, analyze data, create data validation, and use form controls. When you buy a product from IKEA, it comes into parts or maybe multiple boxes. Before using that product, we need to bring these parts together. We need to assemble the product. We then move to part three, 
in which we assemble the different elements of our dashboard. We copy the visualizations, create reference to calculations, copy our controls, copy the slicers, we resize and align the different elements, and finally enhance the appearance. Before putting your dashboard into the hands of end users, you need to test all elements and make sure the interactivity is working fine. There are three main types of interactivity besides using formulas and functions. I call them list, pivot tables, and controls. In celebration of the 50k subscribers milestone, I have a thank you gift for you today. It's a beautiful quick reference guide and a colorful roadmap for creating dashboards. You can download your gift from the link officeinstructor.com forward slash 50k. In upcoming tutorials, I'll be creating dashboards using the techniques shown in this reference guide. The best is yet to come. Thank you for supporting your channel, The Office Instructor, and see you next time.